Hi, and welcome to the first online video for CSC 236. Uh, what I'm hoping to do in this short video is to describe what my goals are for, for this term in terms of making these supplementary videos. Now, if you've taken CSC 108 in the past two years, or you've, you're familiar with online courses like those offered by Coursera, then, then you know about videos as a way of producing content uh, that can be seen at any time uh, as many times as you want that have a lot of great benefits. Now, I should say right off the bat that I'm not making enough videos to replace all the lectures in this course. That's not my goal. Uh, there's two reasons for this. The first is pretty simple. I don't have enough time or money. Um, the second reason is a little more interesting, and I'm not going to say too much about it now, although if you ask me during office hours, I'd be more than happy to talk your ear off. Basically, I think that the most important thing in a lecture in actually being in a lecture room is not listening to me talk or writing down what I write down on the board. It's asking questions. And I think you lose a lot of that in videos, so I'm kind of hesitant to just replace lectures wholesale with videos. Now, what are they going to be? The videos in this course are going to be supplementary videos, and they're going to be two different streams. The first is example videos, standalone examples that, that might serve two different purposes. One is covering examples that we didn't get to in class for whatever reason. This might be because we ran out of time. And rather than, than doing that thing that I hate, which is rushing to get the last example in in the last 10 minutes of class, uh, I'm just going to post a video of it. The second way that I'm going to try to make example videos is, uh, is when I notice that a lot of students don't really know what's going on with a particular concept, or if something hasn't sunk in yet. In this case, I think example videos are going to be great, and I take requests. So if you don't understand anything, then feel free to let me know, and there's a good chance that I'll make a video. This isn't a guarantee, of course, because I'll have to factor in other constraints like my time, but this is something that I'm very keen on doing. The second sort of video that you're going to see in this course are enrichment or or extracurricular videos. Those videos that tackle issues that aren't necessarily part of the standard curriculum, but that people are interested in. So these might be mathematical in nature, or they might be, say, apl applied in nature. Like a good question for, for theory courses is, how do we use this stuff in, in our everyday lives or in our programming lives? And believe it or not, there are ways of using the things that we'll learn. And I'm not going to be able to talk about them all in class, but I will be able to cover more in videos. And again, I take requests. OK, so here's a poorly worded question. But the underlying, I, the underlying question is, is valid. Um, and the answer is, it depends. There's going to be two types of videos, which I'll clearly label. Uh, the first is going to be required videos, which are going to be on par with lecture. So these, a lot of example videos are going to fall into this category. Uh, I think that basically if you, if you consider yourself a student who wants to go to every lecture and really get the material there, then you should be watching these videos. These videos are going to cover material which will appear on the exam. But there's also optional videos, some of these more interest-oriented videos or extracurricular videos. And these all compare to, to getting enough sleep. You're never going to get a mark for, for how much sleep you've gotten, but, but getting enough sleep is important to you. In much the same way, watching these online videos, which are optional, isn't necessarily going to benefit you in terms of the final exam, uh, but they might benefit you in terms of broadening your horizons. Because at the end of the day, you are in university to learn. And even if you don't think you're going to find a particular topic interesting, I hoping, I'm hoping that the videos are going to be short enough that you'll be able to sit through five minutes of your life to, to take a chance and see if you find something interesting. The videos are going to be quick. They're not going to be more than five minutes in length because that's pretty much how much I can handle. Uh, I'm hoping to post maybe one or two a week. Sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be fewer, but on average, about one or two a week. They're going to be handwritten. This is because a lot of the stuff that we'll be doing in this course will be uh, math notation heavy. And for this, I don't want to prepare a lot of slides because that's going to take even more time. Instead, I'm going to 
uh, write using the handy software that captures handwritten notes. They're going to be dynamic. So as I've said repeatedly, I'm going to take requests. If you want me to make a video about something, let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to take into account what you want and what you think is valuable. And finally, I've already said this, but I'm going to repeat it because it's very important. These videos are not going to be replacements for lectures. They're going to cover maybe 5% of the course material at, at best. Uh, so I don't want anybody to come at the end of the term and say, hey, I watched all of your videos. Why didn't I get 100% in this course? You got 5% of the content in those videos. That's why. Uh, so that's all. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm really looking forward to working with you this term. Have a good day.